Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing something a little different than what I usually do for when I make any type of HID lamp video on my YouTube channel. This particular video is going to be me measuring the wavelengths in nanometers of all of my three plus right 400 watt colored metal halide lamps shown here. Now the way I'm going to be measuring the wavelengths is by this little object here. This is actually a diffraction film piece of um, cardboard slash um, paper, or actually, d not really. So this basically measures the wavelengths in nanometers from 300 to 700 nanometers. So anyways, I, um, I'm going to be doing this in order from left to right. So the first lamp that I'm going to be testing and measuring the wavelength in nanometers is my plus right 400 watt magenta MDX metal halide lamp. So I'm going to be going ahead and screwing this lamp into my 400 watt metal halide ballast kit right here. And I'm going to be giving this lamp a test and seeing what the colors are when the lamp is at full brightness. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and screw the lamp into the fixture and we'll be right back. All right guys, the lamp is in the fixture now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Here we go. Very nice startup from the sodium ionizing and the lithium ionizing at the beginning. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this lamp reach full brightness. Once the lamp is at full brightness, I'm going to be measuring the wavelengths and seeing what colors make up this magenta color that this lamp produces. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let the lamp warm up to full brightness and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back and the lamp is at full brightness now and you can see it's really bright because of the wavelengths on the camera. But anyways, I'm going to be going ahead and seeing what the colors are that make up this magenta color. So, you can see it right here on the right. You can see a little bit of violet from the UV rays, a little bit of blue, some green because of the mercury vapor, and because there is some orange and red because of the sodium and lithium. So that is what the colors look like in a spectrum of this magenta metal halide lamp. So anyways, the next lamp that I'm going to be turning on is my Plus Right GDX green metal halide lamp. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and turn this lamp off and screw in the green one, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I have just screwed in my Plus Right 400 watt green GDX metal halide lamp into my fixture. Now, let's turn it on. Very nice greenish startup because of the thallium halide salts ionizing on the bottom electrode of the earth tube. Now I'm going to go ahead and let this lamp reach full brightness, and we'll be right back to measure the wavelength. So, we'll be right back. Alright guys, my green metal halide lamp is at full brightness now, and now let's see what the colors have to offer on this little nanometer wavelength measurable um, little object. So you can see it's mostly green because of the thallium halides. You can see there's a little bit of red involved, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of UV violet because of UV radiation of course but it's mostly green so that's really cool so anyways the final lamp that I'm gonna be measuring the wavelength is my plus right blue BDX metal halide lamp so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and shut this lamp off and screw in the blue BDX metal halide lamp into my fixture and we'll be right back after this see you in a bit alright guys my plus right blue BDX metal halide lamp is now in my 400 watt metal halide ballast fixture so now let's go ahead and turn on the lamp. Very nice purplish startup from the indium halide salts. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this lamp reach full brightness. So this will take a little bit. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And once the lamp is at full brightness, I'm going to go ahead and measure the wavelengths in nanometers. So anyways, we'll be right back once the lamp is at full brightness. So see you in a bit. Alright guys, my blue BDX metal halide lamp is at full brightness now, so now let's see what the wavelengths have to offer. It's a little weird as you can see, you can see it's like almost all the colors. This is like an aquarium metal halide lamp, this is like a 20k metal halide lamp here. You can see a little bit of red, orange and yellow, and a little bit of lime green and yellowish green. A little bit of aqua is involved, a lot of UV violet is blue. And mostly blue since this is a blue metal halide lamp. So, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this little video of me measuring the wavelengths of all of my three plus right colored metal halide lamps. 
And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.